Okay, here we are with today's body weight strength and conditioning workout. 10 minutes, 40 seconds work, followed by 20 seconds recovery. Uh, if you've been following for a while, following your online pl program, you should be ready for these progressions. If not, uh, you can revert back to some of the earlier workouts and progress as and when you're ready. So let's do it then. The first exercise is going to be six high knees with a walkout. <coughs> so like jogging on the spot. One, two, balls to the feet, the, ankle, uh, the heels aren't touching ground low impact so six followed by a walkout which we've been working on Go. one two three four five six touch the toes walk out into a push-up plank position walk back to the toes feel those lower abs and repeat one two three four five six all the way back to the toes you should have done your warm up but this is a great uh, warm up pulse raiser lower body out into upper body all the way back nice and consistent one two three four five six walk out nice alignment online guys you know what to do you can revert back and check your uh, alignment tutorials if you're struggling. So our next exercise is the dive bomber. So we've progressed on from this uh, half bomb. One, Go. two, you should have been working on that. Uh, the dive bomber is all the way down and the chin stays nice and low, close to the mat. Drop the hips, straighten the arms, eyes up to the sky. Reset from your glutes, which is your butt. And repeat. One, two, Remember, elbows out, head towards the mat, keep low, drop the hips, strength and mobility. If you're struggling a little bit, revert back to some of the earlier, uh, the earlier one. So the earlier one is our half bomb, or dive bombs on the knees. Mobility issue as well shoulders are ball and socket they go all directions so that's how we work them that exercise is great for the spine as well so we're sort of just smashing through that one plane of motion okay our next exercise is an alternating go. forward lunge standing posture one but with arm raise one movement one two biceps should finish near the ears feel that elongation in your hips and abs so it's one movement as you step these slings Chains, drive back, from this angle, nice and consistent, one more, well done. So now we are going back to our push up plank position. Uh, we're going to progress this one, we're going to include the mountain climber, so push up plank, I'm going to show you from this angle to start, Go. knee to chest, one, two, we're going to do four, then I'm going to move laterally, one, two, repeat the four, keep your nice horizontal line, try not to lift the glutes, from this angle, Engage, aligned, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. You can always take a breather if you need it, but you should be ready by now. One, two, three, four, one, two, finish it off. Well done. It's a toughie. So the next exercise, uh, we're going back to that lateral movement, we've been working on our lateral shuffles. We're going to uh, incorporate the skater, which is a lateral movement, a little bit more challenging. Lateral hop. So, left foot, right leg back, hinge, uh, left leg, right arm, hop to the right. Now I'm on my right leg, left arm, alternate. One, two, torso turn from the ribcage, thoracic vertebrae, lateral movement and rotation. So we want a slight hinge, but agility, low impact, one, two, 
lateral hop. Keep the foot down and slide. Or foot off. You can pick that pace up. And slow it down. Just keep moving. Make bigger jumps. Well done. But again, low impact. No touch like a baby elephant there. Well done. Here's the uh, conditioning element. Strength and conditioning. Body weight, iron out these imbalances. So the next one is our curtsy. Feet together, left leg's going around the back of the right. Ball of the foot. And bend both knees, all the same side. Sit back into it like a squat. You'll feel that glute, grip, rawness. This view, yeah, nice standing posture. Sit back into it, not hinging. Keep that chin up. Arms for balance if you need them. Rest point, repeat. Well done. So now we've been uh, working on the bent over row, body weight, and of course all these alignments transcend to weights as well. Online guys, check out your bespoke programs. So what we want is a nice hinge technique, like bending the knees, go on the rounded pelvis, navel, row. But today it's the fly, so palms face each other, pull apart, imagine you're pulling some rope, keep the chin up, or you look down. Just not moving that neck. One, two, pull, squeeze those shoulder blades together. You will feel your thighs a little bit. If you're struggling, just uh, come back up, reset, hinge, fly. Sorry, reverse fly. And that's probably why it feels awkward because we spend a lot of time in flexion. Laptop. So, extension. So it feels great. Kind of balancing that uh, flexion, those imbalances, but you will feel awkward. Okay, so now it is back to the curtsy. I'm going to do the right leg. A bit noisy today. Right leg round the back and left. One, two. Same. Principle, peripheralness, one will probably feel a little bit tighter than the other, but again, if you've been following your uh, plans, active recovery, mobility, oh, you should be feeling all these imbalances starting to iron out, you should be feeling great. Nice and consistent, round the back. Ball of the foot, sit back into it, and done. So our next one is we're progressing from our double crunch, which we've been working on. Knees into chest, keep that chin up away. Into our V sit. So for the V sit, I lie back, arms back as well. Ideally, you want to keep the feet and hands off the floor. Go. Hands up, touch the toes. So V sit. One, two, one. Two. So we're introducing this. You can put a slight bend in the knees if you're feeling a bit tight. But again, you should be ready. We're going to incorporate a double crunch. One, two, V-sit. One, two. So we're just introducing this V-sit. We've been working on that double crunch. If you need to have a rest, just stop, reset. Repeat. Oh yeah, that'll work those uh, abs. But again, it's quite a tricky one. Core strength, mobility. But as mentioned, if you've been following your uh, bespoke program, you'll be ready for all this. So our last exercise of the round is a burpee. Go. So we've got our standard one, two, three. But to be honest, we're all ready for intermediate at the very least <laughs> however push up and jump is the goal <laughs> nice 
nice and consistent. Control the breathing. Big finish. Couple more. There we go. Well done. So there is this week's 10 minute strength and conditioning. Body weight, so no, uh, no gym, no excuses. Progressing nicely now, you should be ready for that. But again, if you're new here, as mentioned, you can uh, revert back to some of our, thank you. You can revert back to some of our earlier workouts and progress as and when you're ready. Online guys, as mentioned, just follow your program. You should have a, a bit of cool down to finish now, to complete.